Finally, the Chancellor, Nigel Rawson, has been relaxing at his home in Leicestershire and adding the final touches to his budget speech. With his wife, Therese, and his children, Tom, aged eight, and Emily, three, he made the Chancellor's traditional pre-budget appearance before the cameras. Then he departed from tradition by picking up a cricket bat and playing some very unorthodox strokes. But otherwise, he kept a straight bat and gave nothing away about the tax cuts, if any, that he'll announce on Tuesday. And that's the news in sport this Saturday evening. From Harry and me, good night. In This Week, Next Week, we'll be talking about the government's track record on the economy as Nigel Lawson prepares to deliver the second budget of this parliament. And Oxfam will be arguing that all governments are too stingy about giving help to the starving in Africa and don't realise that the public would be prepared to see more spent. The chairman of the Conservative Party, Labour's industry and the SDP's economic spokesman will be here with Oxfam for a lively discussion at one o'clock tomorrow. On BBC Two shortly, the final episode of Tom Sharp's comedy, Blot on the Landscape. And as the new motorway gets ever nearer, a desperate bid is made to save Handyman Hall. Here on BBC One shortly, we enter the world of agents, assassins and traitors in Three Days of the Condor, starring Robert Redford. Hello. Another pretty cold day tomorrow, but it is mothering Sunday, so do try to find us some work indoors. It's these cold, northerly winds that are doing it, but watch the movement of this high over the next 24 hours as it comes down across the country, and this low moves away as well. And that's the position by 6 p.m. tomorrow with the high getting well into northern and western Britain. A brighter day, a very slightly warmer day, uh, but much less, as you'll imagine, in the way of winds and fewer showers too. But plenty of snow showers still about at this moment, although already skies are starting to clear down that central spine of the country. And later in the night, uh, uh, pretty clear down the middle there, uh, a lot of ice too, uh, some patches of mist, but snow showers continuing around these coastal counties through the night. Quite a widespread frost everywhere too, severe in some places, minus five Celsius or just 23 degrees Fahrenheit. And then tomorrow, starting off dry and quite bright over most of central and western Britain, snow showers though still continuing in the north and east, and some snow showers developing inland as well during the, the course of the, the first half of the day. But later on tomorrow, I think, many northern and western parts of Britain becoming completely dry. The showers more and more becoming confined to central and eastern parts of England, where some may still be quite heavy. Another fairly disappointing day for temperatures, uh, 4 or 5 Celsius, 39 to 41 degrees Fahrenheit. But as you can see, winds very much lighter than they have been, 10 miles an hour, 50 miles an hour, perhaps in the coast. That's it. A better day all round. Good night. Sunday night on BBC One at 7.15, last of the summer wine. Here, yeah, that put your bum on there. <laughs> Would you uh, care to take a seat, sir? <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, Bob, but I had him. <laughs> at 7.45, Juliet Bravo returns and finds herself in grave danger. Yes, I do. Yes, we're both well. Yes. Now then, Sergeant, you know that I am armed and all is well. I'm going to kill your inspector. Will, 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 and then at five past ten, there's lively music and entertainment in the Rock Gospel Show, featuring Alvin Stardust. Glory, with Mastermind at 8.35 from Morton in Marsh and Esther and the team at 9.20 in That's Live. Programs for Sunday night here on BBC One. Now on BBC One, we come to this evening's feature film. Robert Redford and Faye Dunaway are prey to the murderous dealings of undercover agents in Three Days of the Condor. Breezy is the Monday film, which was directed by Clint Eastwood, and Breezy is a teenage hitchhiker who embarks on a stormy relationship with a middle-aged member of the Californian smart set, William Holden and Kay Lentz, in the Monday film at five past ten. And next Saturday evening's film is Dog Day Afternoon. Described as a dazzling thriller, it's the true story about a bank robbery which goes unexpectedly wrong. That's next Saturday evening at ten o'clock. <laughs>